I'm going to be trying something I've never done before since I've pretty much got nothing to lose now. Down there is the frame and here's the screen assembly to that 19 inch Hans G monitor that that uh, I picked up from a, the trash at a computer store some time ago. I think I made a video about it. Um, anyway, I had a problem with flickering and hissing and stuff and I found out after checking it over that it was coming from one of the backlights and it turns out that the wire burned itself off the end of one of the tubes and was just arcing. So I'm gonna, not sure if I can solder that back on but the bad thing is the screen assembly basically fell apart. There was no way to get the backlights out without taking the screen assembly apart. So all those diffuser layers and, and polarizing filters and stuff all fell out. And uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get it back together. So at this point, I'm just doing this for fun just to see if I can put it back together. But i got to try to figure out how I'm going to get this soldered back onto the end of that lamp and get it insulated so that it won't spark anymore and put it back together. I, I doubt it's going to work, but... What the hell, I got nothing to lose. Well, it's going to be nothing short of a miracle if this actually works. That's the end of the uh, backlight tube set there where it was arcing. I filled it in, I managed to solder it back onto the end of the tube and put some shrink tubing on the wire and filled it in with uh, white silicone caulk. I gotta let it dry. You can see what the, the good one looks like. It's just two wires with shrink tubing that go in and the end, ends of the CFL lamps are right inside that rubber block. But uh, This one was arcing to the frame. It was actually arcing to the metal strip that holds the backlight tubes and it's probably going to start doing it again because shrink tubing is the only thing insulating the wire. It, uh, it completely burned the end of that wire up and I've even got a little piece of dirt behind the diffuser in a couple spots here everything fell apart but at this point I just want to do this just to see if I can do it I think this monitor is already a total loss but I'm going to let this silicone set up for a while and see if I can put all the layers of the LCD back in and actually have it work I doubt it will but like I said nothing to lose at this point just for fun there's the <clears throat> there's the back side of the LCD itself and there's all the diffusers and polarizers and uh, like I said just a purely an experiment now at this point to see if I can put this back together and actually have it work so looks just the same on the back as it does on the front except it's more shiny and every little tiny speck of dust that falls on there will end up as a shadow on the front of the screen so I better put these parts back in here before it gets any worse. Well I got the panel back in one piece. There's the part number of this panel by the way. And uh, So really surprised I couldn't find one cheaper on eBay. This is easily one of the most fragile complicated things I've ever taken apart and put back together and it's going to be a miracle if it works but uh, probably should wait a few hours for the silicone to set before I try to power it up but I don't know I'm so anxious to see if it's going to do anything I'll probably hook it up anyways who cares alright it's all hooked up I haven't waited for the silicone to dry I'm just anxious to see what's going to happen this is the actual first power up so whether it smokes or works it'll be on video but here we go. Holy crap. I don't hear any sparking. That's a good sign. I guess I'll uh, go ahead and throw it back in the casing. Another thing that amazed me is it actually looked like the screen was going to work too. Find out in a minute. Well, good news and bad news. Uh, good news is it works and has a good picture. Doesn't flicker and hiss anymore. Bad news is a big old piece of dirt got inside the uh, LCD that I didn't notice, of course, and uh, now I got a nice black dot right there. So annoying. The rest of the screen looks pretty much perfect. It's got a little bit of a border here because I'm driving it an analog VGA off my netbook, but. So I can't can't believe it even works. So 
I guess at least I have my test monitor back. It's nothing I'd really want to use for uh, daily use, but still great on the workbench. But there's a there was a complete dissection and reassembly of an LCD right down to the individual layers on the screen. Pretty crazy.